We begin with some sad news, as I mentioned, from the music world. Legendary singer-songwriter Jimmy Buffett has died. He turned a song about a frozen drink and celebrating the beach bum lifestyle into a one-man, multi-billion dollar business empire. 27 studio albums, two Grammy nods, a chain of resorts and restaurants, and even retired living communities all to his name, but it started and ended with the music. And he'll forever be associated with warm beaches, flip-flops, margaritas, all the good stuff. And of course, it always being five o'clock somewhere. With over 50 years creating his own lane in country music, Buffett's feel-good vibe earned him legions of devoted fans, of course, known as Parrot Heads. His team confirming that Buffett passed away peacefully on Friday, surrounded by his family, friends, and dogs, living life like a song till the very last breath. He was 76 years old. CNN's Stephanie Elam takes a look now at his long spanning and somewhat unusual career. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett's laid back songs captured the feel of lazy days in paradise. Some called his signature sound Gulf and Western a mix of country and Caribbean music. I love the Caribbean through a sort of a strange way. My grandfather was a sailing ship captain, and he sang the Calypso songs. So all this sort of amalgamation of material came in and came back out. And I learned to be a performer, and that gave me the vehicle to do it. Buffett was born Christmas Day, 1946, on the Gulf Coast in southern Mississippi, and raised in the port city of Mobile, Alabama. He began his career making country music, but only really found his musical voice after moving to Key West in the 70s. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude, nothing remains quite the same. His time among the colorful characters there helped inspire his tropical style and eventually led to his landmark 1977 album, Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes, and its famous hit song, Margaritaville. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. Now I think it could be my fault. But Buffett's greatest musical success was on the concert stage, not the charts. He made hundreds of millions of dollars touring over the decades, supported by his legion of diehard fans known as Parrot Heads. The audience is just so much fun for me to look at. I mean, they're as entertaining to me as I hope I am to them. His music may have been laid back, but Buffett brought so much energy to his life. He piloted airplanes, wrote best-selling books, raised funds for Democratic candidates, and amassed a fortune estimated at $1 billion through his Margaritaville lifestyle brand, which included restaurants, hotels, resorts, and casinos. Like his music, it was all geared toward capturing the magic of the tropical places Buffett loved best. From New Orleans to the Gulf Coast, uh, uh, down into St. Bart's and other places, I still can find magic in most of those places where people think there isn't any left. 